ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami hanggang sa papalapit ng final week of competition when we reveal our new K-Check champion. Apat na contestants, all students of UT Diliman ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, we have SAD. And SAD is taking BS ED in English Language Education. He's a member of UP Tabletop, an organization in Diliman that promotes board gaming as a hobby. Belle is also an English language education student. And in her free time, she loves watching Korean dramas and listening to music. Mika is an early education student who does a lot of volunteer work. She's a children's rights advocate and is a member of UP Volunteers for Children. Last but not least, Hans is a fourth year BS Chemical Engineering student. His hobbies are watching anime and sitcoms, playing the guitar, and walking around our beautiful campus. He also listens to the band, The Smiths. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Next, we have Assistant Professor Bernard Caslib from the Department of Social Sciences, College of Arts and Sciences from UP Manila. And finally, we have Multimedia Artist and Professor Emeritus, teaching film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and Communication at the UP Open University, we have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, Handa na ba kayo for our first round? Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by the host. Otherwise, your answers might not be given any credit. Correct answers are 10 points each. Let's begin! Question number one. What Broadway musical about a U.S. Secretary of the Treasury made its Philippine premiere in September 2023? Sad. Hamilton. Hamilton is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What 2013 Disney film was set in the realm of Arendelle? Sad. Frozen. Frozen is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What popular present-day liquor from the sap from the agave plant was first developed by the Aztecs of what is now Mexico? Sad. Tequila. Tequila is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In mental math, what number should you divide 24 by to get three? Bell. Eight. Eight is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What is the name of the large flightless seabird of the southern hemisphere with a black and white body and wings developed into flippers for swimming underwater, Bell. Penguin. Penguin is correct. Paycheck. Question number six. What word may describe a round plaything or a formal dance event? Sad. Ball. Ball is correct. Paycheck. Question number seven. Which 2023 global number one hit by Miley Cyrus has a title that may describe roses, tulips, and daisies. Bell. Flower. Flowers is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In what province can you find the tourist spots Tapia Falls, Tam'an Village, and the Banawi Rice Terraces? Hans. Ifugao. Ifugao is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Hokkaido is the northernmost of the major islands of which Asian country? Mika. Japan. Japan is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In astronomy, what term refers to the circular path that celestial objects in space move around a planet or star? Sad. Orbit. Orbit is correct. Okay, check. 
Question number 11. What is the largest city in the U.S. state of Nevada, which is known for its entertainment and casinos? Hans. Las Vegas. Las Vegas is correct. Paycheck. Last question for this round. What island of Cebu is the site of the 1521 battle where the men of Lapu-Lapu, Hans? Mactan. Let me proceed with the question. Defeated the invading forces of Ferdinand Magellan. You said Mactan. That's correct. Paycheck. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. After that first round, we have Sad, who is not very sad right now, who is happy because he's in the lead with 50 points, followed by Hans with 30, and Bell, who is also tied with Hans at 30 points, and Mika with 10 points. Okay. Congratulations. Lahat kayo nasagot nyo lahat ng mga tanong sa first round. Okay, so may part dito sa show natin na nagsitsikahan tayo para mawala yung mga nervyos natin. Pero parang hindi naman sila nervyos kanina. Okay. So si Sad ang unahin natin. So Sad, bakit Sad ang name mo? Uh, my surname is Sad Sad. And to make it short, people call me Sad. So his full name is Sad Sad Sad. <laughs> Sad cute. Sad cute. Okay. So, nabanggit din natin kanina, no, na you're interested in board gaming. Itong analog na to, may, may ginagawa ba, may kinalaman ba to sa mga digital games? Kinocover nyo rin ba yan? Sometimes we play online, and but it's usually just also board games. Yes. Ito naman, si Bell. Si Bell ay isang English language education student, pero Korean dramas ang hilig. So, bakit Korean dramas ang hilig mo? Um, it's just a hobby ko since um, being a student, uh, student parent uh, actually, and uh, um, a part-time worker, I chose that to unleash uh, stress yun, and uh, uh, the tiredness of having a lot of workloads to do for. But actually, sa, through all these weeks and days of competitions, we find out that K-dramas are a consistent constant. and constant source of um, entertainment. Yes. So thank you very much, contestants. Mamaya, si Mika at si Hans naman ang kakausapin natin, syempre. Pero bago yon, maghanda muna tayo dahil susunod na po ang round two dito sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap po na tayo. Sad is leading with 50 points. Followed by Bell and Hans na tied sila with 30 points each. At si Mika naman ay may 10 points. So tuloy pa rin ang ating chikahan with our contestants. Mika, why don't you tell us about your advocacy and your volunteer work which is, di ba, nakaka-inspire na marinig. So kailangan talaga natin pag-usapan yan. Uh, so for our org, uh, UP Volunteers of, of Children, <laughs> Um, we do community services, for example, uh, we have this community learning hub where we teach children, kinder to uh, grade 6 also. Then, um, we have this curriculum na kami yung nagtuturo, we create the lesson plans, learning uh, materials na hindi yung iba afford ng uh, studies. Like. Pero saan ang mga community na to? Malapit lang dito? Yes, po. Around the Liman lang. Okay, so from Mika, ito naman si Hans. So sinabi ni Hans kanina na he listens to the Smiths. Okay, so... Hindi ko nga sila kilala eh. <laughs> so para sa mga hindi nakakakilala sa The Smiths, that's an 80s band. Kaya hindi ko siya kilala. <laughs> Way before our time. So paano na-discover ang The Smiths, Hans? Siguro po, since pandemic, um, nadi-discover ko po yung aking discography na gustong pakinggan dahil po sa Spotify. So parang it connects with different uh, generations. Mm -hmm. So parang nap napunta na siya sa recommendation ko, tapos doon ko sila discover Which is good, mm -hmm. yung kanilang music. Ako narinig ko on the Smith sa isang film, yung 500 Days of Summer. Naku, maraming paborito yung 500 Days. Noong first time ko siya pinanood, mga one week ko siyang sinunod-sunod panoorin. Mga 20 times. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin! This is round two, question number one. In medicine, what is the name of the inflammation of the large and medium-sized airways called bronchi in the lungs? Hands. Bronchitis. Bronchitis. 
give away yung answer sa question, but bronchitis is the correct answer. K-check. Question number two. Which famous Filipino military leader perished at the age of 22 at the Battle of Tirad Pass in 1899? Hans. Gregorio del Pilar. Gregorio del Pilar is the correct answer. K-check. Nagtay na si Sad at si Hans. Medyo na sad na si Sad. Question number three. What do you call an elevated railway amusement park ride usually constructed with sharp curves and steep inclines on which cars, cars roll? Sad. Roller coaster. Roller coaster is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. What word may mean either a flowing body of water that follows a non-fixed path or it could mean an unbroken flow or it could mean digital data that is continuously delivered one packet at a time. Sad. River. The answer is incorrect. Sad na talaga si Sad. The answer is stream. Question number five. In art. What general term refers to the depiction of natural scenery like mountains, bodies of water, fields, and forests? Sad. Landscape. Landscape is the correct answer. K. Check. Question number six. One of the biggest hit songs of 2023 was Calm Down, recorded by Rema and which American singer? The correct answer is Selena Gomez. Question number seven. Olongapo was the last piece of Philippine territory surrendered by the United States to our country in the 1950s. In what province can you find Olongapo? Naku, you can find Olongapo in the province of Zambales. Question number eight. What is the screen name of Joseph Glenn Herbert, the Filipino-American comedian who hosted the 81st Golden Globe Awards? Bell. Jokoy. Jokoy, of course. Very popular right now, trending and viral. Jokoy. Question number nine. In science, what do you call the process of mixing decaying leaves and other organic matter? Sad. Decomposition? The answer is wrong. Of mixing decaying leaves and other organic matter to improve and fertilize soil. Hands. Composting. Composting is the correct answer. K okay, check. In question number 10. What is the full name of the hardy female main character of the Hunger Games series? Sad. Katniss Everdeen. Katniss Everdeen is the correct answer. K. Chet. Tayo na ulit si Sad at saka si Hans. Question number 11. The smallest state in the world, both by area and by population, can be located inside the city of Rome. Hans. Vatican City. This holy city state is Vatican City. The answer is correct. K. Chet. Last question for this round in science. What do you call the massive and remote heavenly body whose name is taken from quasi-stellar radio source? Taken from quasi-stellar radio source, the correct answer is quasar. And that's it for our second round. Okay, so let's do a points recap after that round. Hans is leading with 110 points, followed by Sad with 90 points, Bell with 50 points, and Mika with 10 points. I love the competition, pero hindi pa po tapos ang labanan. Ultimate pagali nga na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap tayo. 
Hans is leading with 110 points, followed by Saad with 90 points, Bell with 50 points, and Mika with 10 points. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go now for those points and for the win. But remember, sa uh, round na to, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan. Dito sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. So let's begin the ultimate pagalingan round with the first question from Prof. Marian. Okay, which of the following colors is least least effective or least used during the process of photosynthesis? A. Green B. Blue C. Red D. Violet or E. None of the above We know photosynthesis, right? The leaves need to absorb light. Blue and red regions of the light spectrum are the most effective. Now, leaves are usually green, meaning the leaves reflect green. So, the one least absorbed or not absorbed will be the color green. The correct answer is A, green. Prof. Bernard naman. So, your question is from philosophy of science. What is Thomas Kuhn's concept that describes the complete change in fundamental assumptions within a scientific discipline? A. Falsifiability B. Paradigm shift C. Scientific revolution D. Positivism or E. Empirical evidence Sad. B. Paradigm shift Letter B, paradigm shift, is correct. K-check. Your turn. Oh, sa art and culture naman tayo. Who is the artist? Said to be the forerunner of pop art, he is known for creating the capital soup cans and Marilyn Monroe prints. However, feminists reacted to his exploitation of women icons. His works are uh, described as obsession with the glamour, an intrigue of mass production in popular culture. His Marilyn Monroe prints were said to have fetched the sum of $195 million. Oh, A, Tom Wesselman, B, Norman Rockwell, C, Andy Warhol, D, William de Kooning. Sad, C, Andy Warhol. So, ang iyong answer ay letter C. Okay, check ka na. Biology, medyo bio ulit to. Thank you kay Prof. Ian Fontanilla sa mga questions ng iba. May ano pa eh? Attribution. <laughs> yes. Alin sa mga sumusunod ang likas na endemic o dito lang sa Pilipinas? Makikita. A. Manga B. Rafflesia C. Maya D. Tawilis or E. Tilapia Oh, alam ni Attorney Gabby ang sagot. <laughs> Sardinella Tawilis <laughs> is a freshwater sardine found exclusively in the Philippines. And it's only the member of the genus Sardinella known to exist in fresh water. So, ang nahanap yung Tawilis? Sa Very good. Kay check ka. So, the correct answer is D, Tawilis. Parang masarap palang magtagaytay after po nito. Oo nga. Okay. For my second question, this is from economics. What economic system emphasizes private ownership of the means of production? Thanks. Andali pala ng tanong. Okay, sige. Letter B, K-check, capitalism. <laughs> okay, sige. Ito na tayo. Name the extravagant period of art and architecture of early 17th century described as having grandeur, Senseless richness, drama, vitality, movement, emotional tension, exuberance, etc. It has reached all of Europe and the world and hanggang San Agustin Church. At saka Nuestra Señora de la Asuncion in the Locos Sur, declared as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay. A. Art Nouveau. B. Fauvism. C. Rococo. D. 
Barok y Renaissance. Ang answer ay Barok. Sorry talagang math and science sa akin. Which of the following lines is tangent to the line y is equal to x plus 1? A. Y is equal to x plus 2. B. Y is equal to negative x plus 2. C. Y is equal to x minus 1. D. Y equals negative 2x plus 1. Or E. None of the above. Kailangan talaga ma-improve yung math education sa Pilipinas. Correct. Pag sila ay tangent, their slopes ay negative inverses. Kapag given ka ng y equals mx plus b, ang slope ay m. The given line is y equals x plus 1. Ang slope niya ay 1. So sa mga bilay ko sagot, yung y equal to negative x plus 2 ang merong negative reciprocal ng 1. Okay? Correct answer is y equals negative x plus 2. Dumudugo na ang ilong. May naintindihan ba kayo? Wala. Lumalabas ang mga STEM and non-STEM people. Oo oh, nga po. Dumugo yung ilong ko ng konti. <laughs> okay. So, the next question is from logic. Madali rin lang to. What is the term for the fallacy that attacks another person's character instead of a... Logical fallacy. Yes, that's a logical fallacy, but I'm asking for what exactly? Sad. Ad hominem. Ad hominem, yes. That's correct. No, okay, check. Ma'am Gigi, back to you. The famous painting, Birth of Venus. By the early Renaissance, painter Sandro Botticelli. Features the goddess of love floating in the ocean, standing on what? Raft, seashell, boat. Sad. Seashell. Correct, Janana. Okay, check. <laughs> okay, please sagutin yun ito ha. Para itaguyod ang science and math. Who is credited? Alam niyo ito for the invention of the modern periodic table. Hans. With Dimitri Mendeleev. Finally! You just made her day. Yes! A. Albert Nobel B. Antoine Lavoisier C. Gregor Mendel D. Dimitri Mendeleev and E. or E. James Watson Lahat sila ay father ng something pero ang father ng modern periodic table is D. Dimitri Mendeleev. Okay, check! Oh, happy ka na. Meron ang nakasagot sa iyong katanungan. Thank you, Hans. <laughs> Prof. Bernard. Okay, my last question. May makakasagot din ito. Who is the former Philippine president who earned the PhD in economics from the University of the Philippines and served as secretary of the Department of Social Welfare and Development? A. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. B. Benigno Aquino III C. Manuel Rojas D. Fidel V. Ramos or E. Corazon Aquino Hans, Gloria Macapagal Gloria Macapagal Arroyo is K. Chet Naku, Prof. Gigi Your question will determine who between Sad and Hans will be our champion for the day Okay. Oh. oh, ito ang question ko. What are the folk songs with lyrics in Tagalog that were subtly patriotic but typically disguised as love songs and traditionally used to serenade? Sad. Kondiman. So, OPM, Pinoy Pop, Kulintang, Kondiman, Manila Sound. And the correct answer is D. So, Kate, check again. Oh! Wow. So, that was a very exciting and challenging round. Exciting. And that's it for our Kate, check ultimate pagalingan round. We need to congratulate Sad. 
who is our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 230 points. But we need to congratulate Hans who nearly stole that uh, crown from Sad because Hans follows with 200 points. So we will see Sad again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Siyempre, maraming salamat din sa ating mga contestants, Belle, Mika, and Hans. Thank you for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Bernard, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. I'm Jules Guia. And of course, I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check. K -Check.